pros and cons of living in Sydney. I want to start this video saying that I love Sydney. This is my favorite city in the world and I don't know if I would ever live anywhere else. I lived in different cities all around the world, Rome, London, I've seen quite a little bit, but Sydney is my favorite. But like every city, there are pros and cons. And stick until the end of the video because I will show you how to live with the cons and still enjoy Sydney. Let's start with the cons first. So, cons numero uno, regulation. Since I moved here, I think I lost my license twice. Yes, it's true, I'm Italian and we drive like a crazy people, I understand that, but this is crazy. I've got fines so many times because the speed limit once was 60 k's an hour and after 300 meters was 80 k's an hour and under 150 meters was 40 k's an hour. 60, 80, 40, 65, 30. So you need to consistently watch while you drive because even when you miss and you mistakenly go for 60 to 40 k's an hour, boom, you get fined and lose point one of the highest regulated city in the world, but at the same time, they do to keep us safe. Watch out, especially when you drive. Cons numero due, nightlife. So here after two, three a.m. you're done. I remember when I was in, um, you know, in Spain, Portugal, Italy, I used to go out at midnight. Yes, I had a dinner at 10 p.m., go out at midnight, I spend all night out until 5 or 6 a.m., and that was normal. When I moved here, I was like, oh, wow, what's going on? Now, great night clubs, but the time is a little bit different. You're going to have a dinner around 6, 7 p.m., and you go out at that time, and you go home around 1 or 2 a.m., that's it. Okay, so compared from different city in the world that I experience, after 2, 3 a.m. here is all done. Cons numero 3. Traffic. That's crazy. Wow. That's another reason I lost my license a few times, because it's packed everywhere. I now like to use my bike. I've got my Vespa. Yes, Lambretta specifically and make my life a little bit easier, but the traffic is crazy. Especially if you go to work somewhere which is like a 20, 30 minutes away, it's nuts. So if you choose to move to Sydney, make sure your job or your day-to-day -day activity, they all close it to you because it's gonna be a nightmare. And the cons numero quattro is expensive. Sydney is the most expensive city in Australia and is the second most expensive city in the world after Hong Kong. Yes. Rent, crazy. Houses are the most expensive houses in the planet. Now, I work in real estate, I'm a buyer's agent, and yeah, I see prices like, wow. Beautiful places, but very expensive. And I already got few friends, they born and bred in Sydney and they choose to buy a house somewhere else like Barrel, that, shout out to Barrel, uh, that uh, the, in Sydney for $1.5 million, you get the two bedroom apartment in the eastern suburbs. But if you, in Barrel with the same price that he was checking. He bought a four bedroom, two parking with swimming pool, 600 square meters of land. So one and a half million and you get to 70 square meters, two bedroom apartment in the eastern suburbs, or you go to Barrel and you got four bedroom with swimming pool with car parking. Yes, Sydney 
is expensive. And now let's go through the pros. What I love about Sydney, that's why I live here. And I would change anything, even if I got all of these cones. Pros numero uno, you get the best of both worlds. What does that mean? You got a big city and you got one of the best beautiful beaches of the world. 20 minutes away, you got Bondi Beach, Tamarama, Bronte, you can go to the north in Manly, so the beaches are fantastic and you are in the city. Every time I've been everywhere in the world, all the beautiful beaches, they were not in the city. This is the first time in my life that I saw a huge city, six, seven million people with beautiful beach 20 minutes away. And it's surrounded by so many beautiful beaches fantastic like from CBD to 20 minutes by train you are in one of the best beautiful beach in planet and the water is nice is clean is fantastic love it pros numero due is a family friendly if you want to move here with the family there are area in Sydney that is great for kids public school private school best school in the world, best university in the world. Yes, they are expensive, but hey, best education in the world. Pros numero tre, the airport is close. It's 10 minutes away, it's crazy. Everywhere I've been, London, Italy, Spain, wherever I was going, the airport is always so far away from the city. It's incredible you can get to the airport of Sydney by train, 10 minutes, it's crazy. It's like, I, I live in Moscow, I've got literally like two minutes away. It's amazing. So, airport is close, and give a lot of flexibility to catch flight and go anywhere and you go home. So it's great. And the pros numero four, numero quattro, is multicultural. Sydney has everything you can possibly have in the planet. Job opportunity, learn different languages, different food, that's amazing. I go to the weekend, I said, all right, tonight I feel Greek, bomb. Go to a Greek restaurant, oh, tonight I feel Chinese food, great. I'm gonna eat dumplings, oh, tonight I feel Indian, great, I go there. Oh, tonight I feel Italian, I go, it's amazing. Or even like, oh, tonight I feel like Latin dance, great. I go to the area where I do like, Salsa and bachata. Oh, tonight I feel a little bit of R&B. Great. I go to, tonight I feel a little. It's amazing. Everything you can possibly imagine, Sydney has to offer. From a job perspective, from an intellectual perspective, from an art perspective, from a health perspective, the best healthcare, best of everything. Sydney has everything you can possibly imagine. Everything you will ever be inspired to do, you can find it close in Sydney. It's amazing. And as I mentioned before, when you get all of these things at the same time, the cost of living is high. So how do I survive financially, actually save money to buy a house in Sydney? You need to get smarter. This is not a city for lazy people. Okay, yes, they offer a lot of opportunity, but you need to wake up. One of the biggest expenses people have is a house and a rent. If you're not buying a house, most of your expenses will go away for rent. A good way that you can save on rent in Sydney is you can lease a three bedroom apartment, that's what I'm doing. You live in one and you rent the other two and you will end up saving some money on your rent. Yes, that's one of the way. Or another way, you lease an apartment with more than, I don't know, two bedroom and you can flick three to four people in it. Yes, you're gonna be smaller, but you have your own apartment with your own friends and it's gonna cost you a little bit less. Hope that was valuable. Push a like button, subscribe. I'll see you next time.